Hi guys! In today's video po, eh, bali ito po yung continuation ng ating part 1 wherein we flew to Vientiane, Laos flying from Bangkok, Thailand. So this time po, tinur namin ang city ng Vientiane and then pumunta kami ng Luang Prabang. How do you find Laos? At <laughs> Guys, at, at, parang nasa Pilipinas ka lang. Ayan guys, ang ating first destination. This is where To took us. This is the Wat Si Saket. It is a Buddhist Wat in Vientiane, Laos, situated on Lansang Road. And it is also the uh, oldest surviving temples in Laos as evidenced by the decaying wooden structures. Ayan, nakikita nyo naman, medyo may kalumaan na talaga ang mga structures. Ayan. At ito po ay built between 1819 and 1824 by Chao Anok, the last king of the kingdom of Laos. At guys, meron tayong trivia. Uh, honestly speaking, noong kabataan namin, which was like from grade 1 to grade 4, uh, hindi ko talaga matandaan na nagpupunta kami rito. Siyempre, bata pa kami noon. So, this is actually the first time at my age na nabisita ko itong mga temple na to. Even when we were uh, staying in Laos during the 1970s. And this is also situated in front of the presidential palace in Vientiane. Vientiane is actually the city capital of Laos. And Laos is close or bordering to Thailand, Myanmar, Vietnam, and Cambodia, and even China. At ayan guys, balik na tayo sa ating van kung saan naghihintay sa atin si To. To is a staff from Salana Hotel. He is driving for us. Guys, if you are considering visiting Laos, re-recommend ko sa inyo ang Salana Hotel the same way na ni-recommend sa akin ni Yoli Alejandrino Short. And next uh, destination is the Wat Simwan. It is a Buddhist temple again in Vientiane, Laos. And it was also built in 1563. Ang weather dito guys is humid. Parang nasa Pilipinas ka. Pinapawisan ka rin. Ayan, tumutulo ang ating pawis. Ayan. Pero, kukwento ko sa inyo kasi. 1969 to 1974, andito kami. Dito kami, dito kami nag-grade nag -grade 1 hanggang grade 5. Umalis lang kami rito nung nagka-revolution, that was in 1974. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo kanina, very nostalgic ako kasi yung after 50 years, nakabalik ako kung saan ako lumaki at nag-aral ng grade school. And then, kasama ko pa ngayon si Habi ko. Kaya, ako'y, ano, ako'y feeling, ano, feeling grateful, blessed, at nagawa ako to sa aking early 60s. Ayan si Apa. panay temple daw. <laughs> Kasi nung nagpunta kami ng Japan at saka Korea, ang daming iba-ibang temple ang pinuntahan namin. And then guys, dito kami dinala. So hindi ko alam kung anong meron dito. So titignan natin. We are currently under So eto ay along 
the Ho Chi Minh Trail and stopping the emerging communist forces within took place in the skies over Laos. This equates to a plane load of bombs being dropped every eight minutes, 24 hours a day for nine years. At the end of the war, more than two million tons of bombs have been dropped on Laos, making it the most heavily bombed country in the world per capita. A staggering title that it still holds to this day. Most of the ordnance was dropped in the war war, ejecting up to 670 individual summers. Just one customer could distribute enough submissions to blame it and carry it to several different things. Cleaning or making health events, amounting to approximately 80 million. Ang tingkad ng araw guys, pero medyo makulimlim. Hopefully, hindi uulan. Wala pa naman kami dalang payong. So, babalik na kami sa van. Pop chai! 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 Pop And then, 160 bucks? Yes. May nakitang nagtitinda ng ibon si Apa, guys. Naawa siya. So, nagtanong siya kung magkano. Eh, medyo may kamahalan. So, tumatawad siya. Bibili daw siya. Tapos, i-release ano niya, -re niya yung mga ibon. kami ng ulan guys but we should be alright so next stop is the Tatkao it is situated right beside the Tatluang which is believed to be the most sacred and believed place in Lao the place is called Luang which was established in the 300 BC and is believed to be the most sacred as it contains the sacred relic in the form of Buddha's breastbone Tatkao is believed to be a beautiful and splendid reclining in the form of the biggest Buddha situated in Laos. Okay, let's go. At dahil medyo lumakas ang ulan, guys, makikisilong muna kami dito sa coffee shop. Sawadi! Sabay di! Sabay di pala tayo lang. Ani, mak, lao, kape. guys. Pero instead na order ng coffee, nag-decide kami na order na lang kami ng mango shake. What is it? Nam Nampan Muang. Nampan Mak Muang. Yeah. Ayan, guys. <laughs> In other words, mango shake. Ayan. The real one. Lasa ng lasa talaga siyang mango. Yes, real. real mango. Ang susunod na pinuntahan namin guys ay itong Patoksai Monument. The Patoksai Monument is an arch in the center of Vientiane, Laos, 
completed in 1968 using funds donated by the United States. Funds that were meant to be used for the construction of an airport but hindi nila ginamit sa pagkoconstruct ng airport. Instead, ginamit nila sa pagpapatayo nitong monument. The patok sign, meaning the Victory Gate in English, was built between 1957 and 1968 in memory of the Laotian soldiers who died during World War II and the War of Independence from France in 1949. And guys, tignan nyo ito ang view from the top. Guys, andito tayo sa Tok Tok. Ayan, nakikita nyo. Ayan. At yan guys, it is also known as the Arc de Triumph of Vientiane. Due to its resemblance to the Arc de Triomphe, kung tama ang pronunciation ko, yung nasa Paris, France, di ba? So, ayan ang ating view from the top. Medyo umuulan, guys. Tingnan nyo, basa ang daan. So, this is Vientiane, which is the capital city of uh, Laos. Tandang-tanda ko pa, guys, nung bata-bata pa kami, nadadaanan lang namin to itong monument na to never kaming nagpunta so kung kailan pa ako tumanda ngayon ko pa lang naranasan na umakyat sa tuktok ng monument on top of the patoksay sit five towers again built in the traditional Laotian style four of these are located in each corner of the monument while a fifth rises up from the center, higher than the rest, kaya nakikita natin yung buong city ng Vientiane. These five towers are decorated with flower motif and each is topped with a golden finial. So, according to sa nabasa ko guys, needless to say, the construction of the Patoksay Monument was a costly project. The Laotian government, however, managed to fund the bulk of the effort with money donated from the United States, despite that money having been donated for an entirely different projects. So, in the 1950s, the United States provided Laos with funds and a huge amount of concrete for the expansion of the city's airport, which could have then served as a base for U.S. fighters' jets during the Vietnam War. And also, according from what I have read, the funds and concrete arrive before any contract has been signed. So the royal Laotian government decided to build a massive triumphal arch. And after uh, visiting Patoksay, I requested To if he can drive us to see our school. Ito yung formerly Philippine School of Laos. Dito kami nag-start ng grade 1 hanggang grade 4. Tapos, lumipat kami sa Lao College. So, eto guys. Nangingilabot ako, guys. Yung aming old school. Nangingilabot ako, guys. Oh my God, I'm getting goosebumps, guys. Dito ako na grade 1 hanggang grade 4. Tapos, nagkaroon ng division. Nagkaroon ng Philippine School of Laos. Tapos, nagkaroon ng Lao College. So, napunta kami sa Lao College. Yung iba, nagstay sa Philippine School of Laos. So, eto yung original Philippine School of Laos run by Mrs. Badua. Tandaan ko pa noon guys, binawal ni Mrs. Badwa ang bumili ng pagkain from outside kasi gusto niya bibili ka ng pagkain sa kantin. Tapos yung mga nahuhuling bumibili ng pagkain sa labas, pinaparusahan niya, pinapaglinis niya, pinagpupulot niya ng mga kalat sa labas. Tapos nagsumbong ako sa nanay ko. <laughs> Tapos <laughs> nagpunta ang nanay ko sa ano sa opisina ni Mrs. Badwa, ayun nagreklamo. So ayan yung natatandaan ko guys.
So guys, andito naman kami sa Lao College. So, kausapin ko muna to. So guys, andito tayo sa dating school namin. Yung pangalawa yung naging Lao College. So ito yung building. Ito yung main building ng school. At yun, ang natatandaan ko, yan, yan ang, yan ang main school namin. Tapos yung doon, ito yung dito nakatira sila, Mrs. Badwa. Diyan. Tapos dyan din nakatira sila nung na naalala ko yung mga haberinas. Dyan din nakatira. Ayan. So, dito, hanggang dito lang tayo guys. Hindi tayo makakapasok kasi mukhang walang tao. Pero magpapapicture tayo. So nangingilabot na naman ako. Tapos ito, pakita mo. Dati ito. Dati ito, Mekong River yan. Pag cross mo ng ganyan, talagang nakikita mo yung river. Mekong River. Pero ngayon parang nireclaim nila. So ang dami ng puno guys. Tingnan nyo. So nakakangilabot. Like I said earlier in the beginning of my video guys, sinabi ko sa inyo na I am feeling nostalgic kasi uh, never na-imagine na na ko in my early 60s at my age right now, makakabisita pa ako sa Laos where I studied from grade 1 to grade 5. Um, actually, hindi kami nagtapos ng grade 5 kasi uh, I remember very well grade 5 ako nung umuwi kami ng Pilipinas. So, yung grade 5 ko hindi natapos sa Laos. I have to continue sa Pilipinas. But anyway, guys, I am so grateful and I am so blessed. I am thankful na I was able to do this. And then, after na nabisita namin yung mga old buildings ng school, may nakitang Starbucks si Rolette. So, kailangan bibili siya kasi for every countries he visited, nagko-collect siya ng Starbucks mugs. So, this time, happy na siya kasi nakadagdag sa kanyang collection ang Laos Starbucks mugs. And napakamura guys, it was 309,750 kip, which is equivalent to $14. Napakamura kasi normally yung mga binibili niyang Starbucks from yung mga bansang napuntahan namin, it would cost him normally around $20. Uh, around more than $20 actually. So happy na siya guys na dagdagan ang kanyang collection. At guys, pagkatapos naming nakapagpahinga ng konti sa aming kwarto, lumabas na naman kami ni Rolet this time. Nag-explore kami sa daan, nagtingin-tingin kami kung anong makakain. So nakita namin itong street food na nag ano, na nakaka-curious. So tinikman namin kasi kami ni Rolet pag uh, every time we travel, ang una naming tinitingnan yung mga authentic na street food. So tinray niya yung hilaw na hipon at ako naman dahil takot ako sa hilaw kumain ako ng, ano, nag-order lang ako ng inihaw na isda at nag-order din siya ng beef barbecue at may kasamang, yung hipon na hilaw, may kasama siyang papaya and mango salad ayan guys, so ayan ang aming experience, this is actually our first street food experience sa Vientian, Laos Ma magkano kinain namin? 272,000. So, ang kinain namin is 272,000. At ayan guys, ang ating day one sa Laos. Ayan, nagbabayad po si Apa sa... Thai bat kasi hindi kami nakapagpalit ng kip. Ang kainaman lang tumatanggap sila ng Thai bat. Ang pangit lang, eh, kulugi ka sa conversion. But anyway, dito ko na po tatapusin ang part 2 ng ating Vientian trip. Mahaba-haba po itong video to. So, hinati-hati ko siya by parks. So, anyway po, thank you so much for watching and I hope you would consider subscribing to our channel. By doing so, you are helping us grow our channel. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And again, thank you for watching. Kapchai Lai Lai. And I will see you on our next vlog. Abangan po ang part 3.